It's no doubt the pandemic has brought out many struggles from job loss to higher uses of alcohol and drugs and for some perhaps a loss in hope. But there are those who are using those challenges to help make themselves stronger. In this morning's Good Day Together, we spoke with a businesswoman and podcaster, Vasavi Kumar, who's a first generation Indian American woman who's battled addiction and imposter syndrome to help women now flourish in both business post pandemic and in life. So excited to be sharing my top lessons as a former cokehead with you. This is Vasavi Kumar. What you see is what you get. I was relentless in finding cocaine. No matter what, I would do whatever I had to do to score some coke so I could party for that night. Let's apply this to your business. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, whether you're trying to learn a new skill, whether you're trying to figure out how to build your website, whether you're trying to understand marketing better, be relentless. She keeps it real using her life experiences to help other women. Um, I, I, I knew that the pandemic and the stay at home orders were leaving people feeling very isolated. Her isolation was not at the hands of a pandemic. I struggled with an, with an addiction for four years. During that time, what you saw on social media was completely different than who I was behind closed doors. For her, it came a few years back at the hands of cocaine and alcohol addictions. I created this out of my own pain. I did. I created the Mind Your Own Business, um, Mind Your Own Business membership community out of my own pain and what I wish I would have had during the darkest, most difficult period of my life. She describes it as a feeling of hopelessness. A lot of times, the emotions that we are experiencing are so deep and um, can feel so uncomfortable and painful that we feel like we have to numb it. We don't want to feel anymore, um, and we 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 reach for what's easy, right? Reaching for that bottle is. Is, is a quick fix. And I am saying this from a place of I've been there. Um, and I, I think the greatest gift that you can give yourself is the willingness to sit with your discomfort instead of shutting those feelings down and, 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 and suppressing them and suffocating them and saying, I don't want to feel this, allowing ourselves to sit with and breathing and being like, what am I feeling right now? Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things which is self-trust. She says it's not about ignoring the problems around you. Instead, it's about acknowledging them. There's a lot that we cannot control around us. We have social justice issues, racial injustice in literally every area of our society, and it sucks, and it's not easy. And there are people in our society who are oppressed simply because of the color of their skin or because of their gender or their sexual orientation. I am not saying that none of that is not real, but ultimately, what, what are you, how are you gonna take your power back? Something she says starts from within. I'm not gonna say that it's been easy in Austin. I don't wanna lie, it's, uh, but, but it's, it's not easy anywhere, right? And so that's why ultimately um, I've had to learn to accept myself because you know, we often think if I move here, it'll be easier. If I live here, it'll be easier. But the thing is, if you don't accept yourself, it doesn't matter where you live. I could, I can be around, you know, 500 Indian people and still not feel accepted, right? Because maybe that group of Indian people will think that I'm too Americanized for them or I'm too outspoken for them. And, you know, I, 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 I'm a divorced Indian woman. I mean, I am, I'm, I'm kind of a black sheep in the Indian community. Um, but ultimately I've had to learn to accept myself. This is who I am, take it or leave it. Well, your number one asset in being a business owner is to become a resourceful person. And, and as we all navigate the pandemic, this is the advice she's business giving business to female life. entrepreneurs. I can give you all the business strategy in the world, but if your mind is not right, it it does not matter. Stop minimizing and validating your every word, your every thought. You do not need permission from other people for you to feel the way you feel. And instead of swallowing our words, learning to speak up and boss up and really look at every area of our life. And ultimately, Leslie, what it boils down to is personal responsibility. Vasavi continues celebrating sobriety. She's also working on a few book proposals and running online workshops to help others expand. If you're interested, you can head to vasavikumar.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back on Good Day.